the biggest thing is being patient with, you know, which is easy to say, but it's just hard to, some, hard to do some days. But I don't have another choice. I don't have any inclination to, it's not like I, boy, I think I could throw BP, but they're not letting me. There's no way I can lift and land on this leg for a long time. I just wrestle with them, not getting around the way I want to. Um, you know, and, and, and since I don't remember any part of the accident, sometimes that's harder to get my arms around because I don't have that reference point. And I understand that intellectually, but I'm, I've had, that's probably been the hardest thing for me to really grasp. Our two girls who are home, and we have one in college, um, couldn't sleep. And so we were all three kind of huddled in the bed and about 11.15 we heard a knock on the door and we all walked out and the dog was going berserk and it was two state troopers at the door and I just kind of went, ah, and opened the door and um, Fortunately, as I've said before, troopers are uh, trained to get to the point. And so the first thing they said was, he's alive. He's in the hospital, but he's alive. It was hard for me to get my arms around it and understand it. And I was talking with one of my daughters and we were just kind of, we were just talking about that evening and how they found out. And, and uh, I, was, I was more curious than anything. And then she paused and said, you know, I didn't eat for four days. And I kind of went, this is a little this is a little different and then i started getting more information from the docs um and talking to some people who i think got a little more comfortable telling me that walking away from that maybe not it should not have been an option If Mrs. Cook was up there uh, with Coach Cook's daughters and uh, they let us see Coach Cook, uh, the only stipulation was we had about five minutes before Modern Family started and uh, Coach Cook kicked us out after that. He'd been waiting all day to watch Modern Family. Baby Ryan, um, the first time I, we talked as a group, um, I sat them down in January, shortly after they got back, and just kind of gave them a, here's where I am physically, mentally, emotionally with it, and it wasn't. It was something I thought about uh, and felt like I needed to do. And I told them, this is probably as much for me as it is for you. We have encouraged each other forever. So it's, uh, you know, this is just more of the same. You know, you get up and keep going and figure out what has to be done in order to be the most successful you can. I think there are people, friends, families who may be angrier in, in a different realm. Um, I'm angry when I can't throw batting practice, when I can't hit ground balls to the infielders, when I can't catch bullpens. That makes me just angry in general, not angry at a specific person situation. Um, you know, I, I'm, I think about that a lot. A lot of people have counseled me to uh, stay in the moment, which I think is the best piece I've gotten, and not to worry about where I'm gonna be in six months, five years, what's it gonna be like when I'm 65, and kind of be focused on today. Definitely puts things in perspective uh, about how short our time is here on this earth and how short our time is here at uh, Davidson. And um, yeah, we, we definitely have a new energy uh, this season, him being back, him just excited for the season. He gets a lot of energy from, from, from these guys, they're so, amazing they're such wonderful people they're, they're just really fine people and so um, to come out here and get some sunshine and you know not lay on the sofa not focus on the fact that his leg is absolutely throbbing and um, doesn't work like he wants it to um, I think is, is tremendous we're still gonna get frustrated with a missed ball strike call or a guy misses a call at first or you know a uh, safer outplay but um, you know in the grand scheme of things it's not going to be the most important piece doesn't get much better than that